Hi everyone, are you ready for some Christmas DIYs? This is my first DIY, Christmas DIY of the year. I'm so excited to share these beautiful, great, colorful Christmas DIY with you all. So the first DIY I'm starting with today is the Grinch. My favorite Christmas is the Grinch. So I decided to make this cute little sign with Dollar Tree products. And I took this Grinch. I cut a little piece out of one of the boards that I got from Hobby Lobby that I'm going to be making. You'll see in this DIY. And I took this beautiful green felt that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm not going to be using these, but, and I got this uh, from Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to start off by painting the truck with this uh, bright red apple paint by Apple Barrel. I was going back and forth with the color red and then um, after I started painting it, later on I did change it to black. Now I'm going to be taking this lime green paint and start painting above the tires. I'm also using the same paint inside the tire. It's white Waverly chalk paint and just painting around, kind of like around the tire area and underneath the frame. I'm taking the white chalk paint and just outlining the white around the window area. I don't know if you can tell, but this truck has like little lines in it that you can actually see. So I was just following it. Now I'm taking Dollar Tree black chalkboard paint and I'm gonna start painting the tires. Now I'm using Kelly Green paint by Apple Barrel. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of lime green and paint the Christmas tree on top of the car or truck. Now I'm using the black uh, chalkboard paint and I'm going to start painting the back. There's lines so I'm just following the lines and then as I was doing it I didn't like the way it was looking so then I eventually like I said I just paint the whole thing black. So I'm going to paint the star red. So just still following the lines all over just painting above the tire and frame area. And then um, I'll show you, I started painting it all black with the green. I think it came out cute. So here's where I'm showing you, I'm gonna paint the top portion of it all black. And uh, I think it's, uh, it looks better this way. Now I'm gonna be coloring. There's like little areas on top of the tree. I'm using my white marker and a black marker and a little bit of the red paint. Now I'm going to be using Mod Podge and taking the cutouts and placing the Grinch in front of the car. So once I apply him down, I'm going to be placing Mod Podge over it just to make sure it stays in place. And then I'm going to take the other cutout, the Grinch word, and I'm going to place that on the left side of above the tire and the little star right next to the Grinch on the left side and apply Mod Podge all over the entire truck just to seal it in. Now I'm taking the wood stick and I'm going to take the black paint and paint it. I'm taking this bucket I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it black as well. Now I'm taking the lime green paint and I'm going to paint the arrow with this color. So I used my Cricut Design Space and created a Whoville and I'm going to be paint, not painting, I'm going to be applying it to the arrow.
It's very cute. Now I'm going to take this um, floral foam and put it inside this little bucket. Put a little hot glue. Now I'm placing down the stick and the floral foam. So I'm taking this lime green little ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to cut a little piece because the truck has two little holes at the top. So I put the ribbon through it, cross over the ribbon and make it look like a little boat inside the Christmas tree. Now I'm placing this green fabric inside the bucket to hide the floral foam. So I hot glued down the Grinch truck to the top of the stick. Now I'm taking some hot glue and I'm going to place down the Whoville arrow. Now I got this at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to take a piece of it and just uh, place a little bit at the bottom of the, bear, the bucket because it looked kind of plain and needed something. So I just cut out the piece Mary and then Christmas and just applied a little hot glue. I did add some fairy lights and a little tiny Santa hat to the sign at the end. I think this came out so adorable. And this is how it turned out. Okay, so I got another uh, Grinch DIY, and I'm going to take the red apple paint from Apple Barrel and just paint the trim of the wood piece that I got from Dollar Tree. So now I'm taking some Waverly chalk paint in white, and I'm just going to paint the front of the frame. So now the plaque's dry, I'm going to take this uh, soft tooth and I'm going to put it in the back so that I can hang it on the wall. Or you can simply just place it in one of your tear trays. But I choose to put a little hanger in the back. So I got these little Santa hats from Hobby Lobby. They were like a half off, I believe it was. They're so cute. So now I'm going to take the Mod Podge and the little cutouts that I have and I'm going to place it in front of the plaque. So I'm applying a little bit of the Mod Podge on the actual wood piece and a little bit on the little pe the little cutouts that I have. This way it'll stay um, securely on the, the wood piece. If you don't have any of these cutouts of the Grinch, you can always go to Google and just type in the Grinch images or free downloads and actually print it out and you can do the same thing. They're really cute. Now I'm just applying a little bit of the Mod Podge over the whole entire front of the the wood piece. Now I'm taking this little Santa hat and just taking a little hot glue and I'm going to place it right above the Grinch's name and this came out so cute. Okay so one more Grinch DIY. This foam board I got from Dollar Tree and I got these really cute Grinch huge cutouts from Hobby Lobby. I'm taking yellow and emerald, I think it's emerald blue, and I'm going to mix them together because I'm trying to get like an olive color. So I started using this brush and it wasn't coming out very well, so then I used the sponge. That wasn't coming out very well, so then I switched to a regular paintbrush. <laughs> so I was trying to get the olive color to uh, match the Grinch, and this is the closest I can get to it, but I think it came out pretty, pretty close. Um, so I'm just finishing painting the whole entire foam board this color.
So now I'm going to place down the cutouts that I have and try to align them. Um, they are a little bit just too big for the foam board, but that's fine. It kind of went over the sides just a tad bit, but that's fine. I took a little glue and I just placed it on the foam board and a little bit behind the Grinch's arm and then placed it down. So now I'm placing it down. I'm making sure it matches. Oh, I lost. <laughs> what a struggle because my table's not big enough for this. So I'm placing the arm down. I wanted it to look like a big cartoon uh, poster board. Um, that's the effect I was going for, but I think it came out really cute. So I'm aligning the little Merry Christmas ball and just putting a little hot glue and placing it down. I wanted it to look like a big cartoon uh, poster board. Um, that's the effect I was going for, but I think it came out really cute. So now I'm taking this black ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and this tape, and I'm just going to create a border. And I think it does really um, breaks up the olive color. I think it looks cute. So now I'm going to add some fairy lights to the sign. I think it's going to look really cute. So I'm going to take this little tiny screwdriver and I'm going to place a hole in front so this way I know exactly where to put the lights in back. And then I'm also going to use the screwdriver in the back to make sure the hole is big enough. I think this is so cute with the lights especially. And who doesn't love the Grinch for Christmas? So once I have the lights put in through the back hole, I'm gonna just add a little tiny bit of hot glue just to make sure it stays in place. And this is how it turned out. It came out so adorable. I love it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like it. And Thank you again for watching my video. I do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And once again, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Special cause I'm hoping for that we'll